But right now we have the women going to the line in the 3,000 meters themselves. But rounding out this field, we have Allie Cash, and she's up in Seattle training right now. She's run 906 in the 3,000 meters. We might be in Kansas right now, I don't know. Joining her, we have Katie Rainsberger, and she's unattached. She's, she takes her classes at the University of Washington. And uh, she's run 856.24 in the 3,000 meters, and she's run 409 for the 15. Uh, we've got Ashley Maton as well, a former Oregon Duck. She's run 411 in the 1500, and she's run 919 for the 3,000 meters. We have Eleanor Fulton, the pride of Portland, Oregon. She's run 408 in the 1500 meters, and that was last year to make the finals at USA Outdoors. Uh, they're joined by Shannon Robery, also with Pete Julian's Detroit Pistons. Uh, she's the former American record holder, like I said, in the 1500 and 5000 meters, and those times are 356 and 1438. And then we have Co Coco joining too, and the race is off. So Coco doubling back from the 1000 meters from her victory there in 236. And we also have Mel Lawrence in this race from Little Wing. Uh, out of Bend, and Mel Lawrence is a steeplechase extraordinaire, and she's run 929 in that event, and 850 for the 5,000 meters. So Mel Lawrence is at the front right now, and she's pushing, pushing the pace. And that is roughly 33 to 34 seconds through the first 200 meters. So we have Mel Lawrence, Coco on her shoulder, and then Shannon Robery, and then it looks like Katie Rainsberger, potentially. No, that's Eleanor Fulton, I'm sorry. That's because Eleanor. And then Katie Rainsberger, and then Ashley Maton, and Allie Cash. But there's a group of three already separating themselves a little bit up front, and that's led by Mel Lawrence, then we have Coco, and then we have Shannon Robery. And they went through in a tad under 70 seconds, I believe. So 70 seconds. I think was the prescribed pace to get out. Uh, we never know if, we never know what can happen with prescribed paces. I mean, sometimes they can be a little fast, a little slow, or maybe people get antsy and they just want to get after it. So we'll see how long Coco can hang back there. As we know, she's a, a known front runner and she might want to push it a little bit, but Mel Lawrence still at the front at this moment and Shannon Robery looking pretty comfortable behind Coco. Eleanor Fulton leading that chase pack. And following her is Katie Rainsberger. So we're coming up here to the second lap of the women's 3,000 meters, and we'll get you a split. So that, they're right, right about 70 again, that's 219 through the 800 meters there. Mel Lawrence, like clockwork, taking them through in this wonderful evening here at the Bigger Friendly. Beautiful night for a track race out here in the hills. There's no place I'd rather be. And here's Mel Lawrence coming through the finish line here. And Katie Rainsberger now going to the front of this chase pack. And Eleanor Fulton follows her. And then Ashley Maton and then Allie Cash. Back to race and it looks like that front pack is moving a bit. We'll see if they picked up their pace heading into this 1200 meter mark. Coco's sitting on Mel's outside shoulder and Shannon's tucked in there on the rail. So this is about a, another 70 second lap for Mel Lawrence. So a real bang up job here with the pacing. And who knows, maybe Mel's sticking in it. Maybe she wants to get after it. But yeah, it looks like Coco's raring to go on her shoulder here. Coco's got that long stride, so she's got to give herself some space. 
And we can see Pete Julian walking across the infield here, keeping a close eye on his runners, hitting the paces. And here comes Katie Rainsberger leading this second pack, Eleanor Fulton behind her. And the order is unchanged from the last lap there. Now we have Mel Lawrence. Oh, a little, little, little brace herself there from Coco on Mel Lawrence's back. And it looks like Mel Lawrence is pulling off to the side here. And Coco wants to go. So here is another 70 as Mel Lawrence steps off the track. And now it is Coco and Shannon Robery up front. And the two of them are pu pushing solo into the abyss. As we have less than a mile to go. Much less than a mile. And now it looks like we have three packs of two here on the track. So we've got Coco and Shannon Robery up front. And then we have Katie Rainsberger and Eleanor Fulton in a second pack of two. And then we have Ashley Maton and Ali Cash in another pack of two. So this race has turned into a, a set of three separate duels. So there's a race for everybody to enjoy. And this is heading into 2,000 meters. Coco approaching that line right now, the Shannon Robery right on her. Some words from their, their coach, Pete Julian, who's jogging across the infield again. That lap was a 69, roughly, maybe close to 70, unofficially 69 high. And now Eleanor Fulton has moved in front of Katie Rainsberger, and she's getting some distance on Rainsberger right now. Eleanor Fulton been training at Elevation in Colorado for at least a month's time, I think. And I, I think they were pretty high up there, maybe close to 9,000 feet. So we know she's probably pretty fit. But it's still Coco up front and Shannon Robery close in tow. And now that third duo has broken up and Ali Cash has moved in front of Ashley Maton and is getting some distance and she's closing in on Katie Rainsberger here. And Coco staring down the 2400 meter mark here. And they cross in 68 seconds. So she's ratcheting it down a little bit. We started with 70s up front and then maybe a couple 69s. And now we're down to 68s. And Coco stepped off the track and she's leaving Shannon Robery to go solo here. And Shannon Robery, here's the bell lap. Love to hear that bell. That was a 34 second 200 there for Robery. And she's opening it up a little bit. And we have Eleanor Fulton leading Katie Rainsberger, who has not dropped off as much as Eleanor probably would have liked. She's still very much in that race. And then Allie Cash behind her. Shannon Robery pushing here. She's approaching the 200 meter mark, 200 meters to go. And she's at roughly 8.07 through there. Allie Cash crossing the finish line here with a lap to go. And here comes Shannon Robery. She is looking strong with 100 meters to go. She has a comfortable lead right now, but that's not enough for her, it looks like. Opening up her stride. It's got to feel good to race again. Here she is coming through. I think she might have broken 840 for that one, looking at 839. That's a very good opener for Shannon Robery. And we've got another victor from Pete Julian's group.
Shannon Robery in the women's 3,000 meters. And here we have Eleanor Fulton coming down the stretch for second place here at the Bigger Friendly, opening up her outdoor season. Finishing strong in about 9.13, and Katie Rainsberger right behind her in about 9.16, 9.17. Then we have Allie Cash coming in after Rainsberger in about 9.25. Shannon Robery looking pretty happy with that finish right there. Back to racing in 2020 part of the Tracklandia space race program that we have going on, the bigger friendly. And Ashley Maton finishes. And that rounds it out for the women's 3,000 meters.